Well, here we are in the middle of nowhere. Uh, I've been thinking. Uh, uh, so the other day, I need to take a break from work, so I put my running shoes and go for a run on the trails over and above Wellington, and um, uh, great way to de-stress. However, I've had this uh, problem over the last couple of years of coming home feeling more stressed than uh, relaxed after doing a doing a, a ride or a run out in the great outdoors. And um, the other day, I was running, and this uh, very fit young man was coming towards me, striding along, and uh, I noticed he had a fashion accessory, a single cloth glove on his hand. And I thought, oh, maybe this is the latest fashion for young people, and as he uh, uh, came close to me, he suddenly took a deep breath, and turning his head away from me, he went like this with the hand, with the glove. Mm. Oh, there's a loafer. Going well, a loafer. Hey, wait for me at the bottom. Yeah. Uh, at the at the river. Okay. Yeah. And I couldn't believe it. Uh, so his mask protection against me was uh, a cloth uh, holding his breath, turning his head away, and putting a glove over his over his mouth. Now, uh, how utterly ridiculous that is! It just shows you um, just the uh, the misinformation. Uh, the lies, the fear uh, that uh, these uh, health experts have been putting across, um, uh, health experts who should know better. Of course, most health experts will be like me and, uh, and thinking what complete and utter nonsense uh, to see this sort of thing going on. And look, the simple fact of the matter is, is that uh, when you're in the outdoors, there's absolutely no scientific evidence anywhere uh, showing that... Uh, that COVID is a hazard, um, and, uh, and and that includes, you know, if you happen to uh, run past somebody. And the other thing is, hey, you've got to be symptomatic to pass on uh, the virus, or any virus for that matter. You've got to be coughing and spluttering. And I'll tell you what, if you're coughing and spluttering, you won't be out running or cycling uh, uh, the, the big grunty hills around Wellington. You should be in bed, uh, resting up, um, and... Uh, and keeping to yourself. And besides that, the other point is, if you are sick, coughing and spluttering uh, with a respiratory um, infection, you don't wear a mask uh, because you need to be blowing those viruses out of the body. You don't want to be blowing them into a cloth nappy on your face and then sucking it back uh, deep into your lungs. You're going to make yourself very, very sick. And so the better thing to do if you have got an infection or a respiratory infection is go to bed and rest. Have chicken soup if you have got an appetite, though you probably lost your taste and smell uh, because of the, uh, the zinc deficiency associated with these viral infections, but that's another issue. Um, stay, stay at home, uh, go to bed, make sure the place, the, the room is well ventilated if it's sunny, go outside, smell the roses, uh, get some fresh air and some sunshine. Uh, but the most important thing is to rest up and make sure that uh, you're keeping your lungs clear. The other thing is things like uh, uh, nasal and throat uh, washes with uh, a, a tepid saline solution, uh, the use of the Obehave nasal spray, uh, which you can also spray up to the back of your throat. The whole idea is uh, to keep the viral loading low in your sinuses and in your in your throat, and uh, and to give your immune system time to recognise the invader and mount an attack, and to do so before the infection gets too deep down into your lungs or elsewhere, and that's why you don't wear a mask if you're infected, and you stay home, of course. Okay, enough of that. I've had my rant, and it's now time to catch up with a loafer who'll be miles ahead of me. Um, but isn't this amazing countryside? And crikey, isn't that an amazing bike? See you later.